Ah, Mr. Bennett, finally showed up. Getting a little rusty on me, boy? He put up quite a fight. Don't they all? Take a seat. We've got a important matters to tend to. Uh, there you go. Let's see what we got here. We got 10. You won't be damned. We got it all. You know what, Henry? It's time for celebration. Nothing goes better than counting a poor man's money than pouring a glass of whiskey. Ooh, that's mighty fine. Oh, here's your share. Wait, wait. Where you going? Uh, I was gonna go give my uh, my family a visit. I oh. haven't seen them in some time. You know, that's what I like about you, Henry. Not only you're a hard worker, but you're you're a good family man. What do you want, Otto? Sit down. You reckon a man by the name of Albert Williams by any chance? Name ring a bell? Albert Williams. Last time I was there, he's sicker than those pigs he raises. Well, if he didn't borrow my money to go raise pigs, he'd be just fine. Anyway, I need his money. Tonight. I don't want him dying on me, boy. But wasn't this my last one? <laughs> well, it could have been. But since you came in late, I figured I'd give you one more errand to run for me. But Mr. Otto, he has a family. I don't give a damn about his family. He owes me money. Just like you do. Fine. I'll go take a look. Good. Pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Bennett. Oh, and after this, you're home free? Mr. Bennett, what are you doing here? You know why I'm here. 
We've been through this before. Yes, but I'd rather you not come in. Why is that? There's sickness here. Please, leave. Well, there was sickness to here last time, and I seem to be doing just fine. Can't say that I'm too happy that you are. Mm hmm. All I need is your husband, Albert. Well, he isn't here. He's dead, mister. Well, I'm truly sorry to hear that, Mrs. Williams. We buried him just a few days after you came and visited last time. He actually thought you were a great man. Oh, uh, I doubt that. He did. And now I'm all alone, raising our little son, Oscar, who's sick as a dog. Oh, boy. You must have caught the same thing Albert did. I wish I could help, ma'am, but... Oh, but you could. You see, Mr. Bennett, I can't bear to pay off my husband's debt while having to deal with all of this. That's a shame. I could maybe have a talk with Mr. Otto. I could, uh try and reason with him. Oh, God bless you, Mr. Bennett. My husband was right about you. Uh, all them sick pigs been separated. <sighs> Shit! Aren't you supposed to be six feet underground, Mr. Williams? Uh, wait a minute, I swear. Weren't you sick last time I was here? Where's your goddamn cough at? It's <coughs> I need your money, you lying scum, and I need it now. All right. It's, it's, um, it's right over here. Where's my goddamn revolver at, woman? I sold it. You sold it for what? For our son's medicine, you damn fool. Enough of your lies! I can't trust another word either of you say. No, no, I swear, Henry. Our little boy Oscar's sick. He's right in there. You can see for yourself. I don't like being lied to, Mr. Williams. Hurt me all you want, just don't do nothing to them, all right? Okay, Oscar, I promise. I'm gonna get you some water, sweetheart. He's getting worse. The medicine we had was helping, but we ran out a few days ago. Why'd you lie to me? Uh, I was scared. And I figured you wouldn't let Albert off the hook, but maybe if it was just me and Oscar, you'd leave. 
please. <coughs> Just give me till tomorrow. I can, I can maybe sell a few more things. I know Mr. Otto wouldn't like that. But Mr. Otto doesn't have a family. Yeah. Do what you can. I promise I will pay Mr. Otto back. No. I'll have a talk with him. <coughs> hey, kid. I won't be hurting your daddy no more. Ah, Mr. Bennett, that was quicker than I expected. Don't tell me. You put up a fight. No, but I'm going to. Where's my money, boy? They didn't have money I could take. I need my money now, Mr. Bennett. Put it on my tab. Okay. That'll mean you owe me five more errands before you get out of debt. I'm done working for you, old man. I'm done getting my hands dirty. You're done getting your hands dirty? You actually think that you can walk away from this? You know better than I am, boy. But you think you are, don't you? Tell me. Think you're better than me, boy? Well, I got news for you. No better than I am! Maybe you're right. That ain't gonna stop me from trying. Pleasure you doing business with you, Mr. Otto. It ain't over yet, boy. I still own you. I got other men like you. Better than you! And you know what I'll be sending them. I'll be waiting. 